As the Earth heats due to climate change, the search for a solution to combat it becomes ever more urgent. In Mongstad, Norway, at the edge of the Norwegian Sea, a gleaming new test facility has been built to undertake this task, using the process of carbon capture storage. While one approach to tackling climate change is to limit the amount of carbon dioxide created through the burning of fossil fuels, carbon capture storage, or CCS as it is known, aims to trap carbon dioxide emissions before they are released into the atmosphere and store them underground in liquid form. Well, it, it's one of the necessary uh, things that we have to do in order to deal with climate change because we cannot do without the use of carbon fuels. Uh, the world simply doesn't have any way of substituting carbon fuels uh, 100%. The Mongstadt facility is a billion dollar development owned jointly by the Norwegian government and three oil companies, Statoil, Shell and Sasol of South Africa. The facility itself consists of two capture plants fitted with more than 4,000 instruments which can capture up to 100,000 tons of carbon a year. These plants are connected to the exhaust flues of a refinery and also to a nearby gas-fired power station. Experiments will be conducted, measuring different flow rates, carbon dioxide concentrations, and the capture technology itself. It is hoped that the experiments will not only improve the processes used for CCS, making them more efficient, but eventually make them cheaper as well. This is essential to transforming CCS into a viable technique for mitigating the effects of climate change. CCS will have to become profitable uh, at one point in time or later. In the beginning, in order to launch CCS uh, as a mitigating action, uh, it will need uh, significant public funding. Once the alternative becomes more expensive than investing in CO2 capture, then CO2 capture plants will, of course, become profitable. The International Energy Agency believes that CCS could be used to cut 20% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions by 2050. To keep the Earth's temperature from rising beyond 2 degrees Celsius, a widely agreed upon safe limit, current levels need to be reduced by half. To meet this goal, it's suggested that 100 capture facilities will need to be built by 2020 and another 3,000 by 2050. Currently, there are only eight facilities in existence. But the groundswell of support that CCS enjoyed only just a few years ago in America and beyond has faded as the political and economic realities of a dragging economy have kicked in. Of the 28 carbon storage facilities in the works, mostly in North America, it's likely that many of them will be canceled due to costs. But Norway remains committed. Climate change is in fact uh, a, a big concern uh, to people in Norway. Norway has a huge uh, oil and gas industry uh, that represents uh, a major portion of the carbon uh, dioxide emissions in Norway. But it's also important for Norway because of the fact that we rely heavily on our uh, income from oil and gas uh, export. And for that reason, uh, we need to solve the, the climate issues uh, related to the uh, emissions of carbon dioxide. Although some doubts have been raised about the geological safety of carbon storage, with critics pointing to the potential for seismic activity at storage sites, the risks are seen as quite small. The main issue holding back development of CCS is simply expense. It still costs less to put a ton of CO2 into the air than into the ground. And until this changes, through stringent carbon legislation put forth by governments or by improvements in technology, the widespread use of CCS will remain far off.